Hello students, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create your opening repertoire. And this is very important, guys. Any chess player wants to start learning your openings, you have to know exactly what to do and you have to know the theory. And the reason why we're doing this right now is because many of the openings that we're going to be learning from, from now on, they're going to require you to memorize theory. And more specifically, we have pending how to play the perk against the Austrian attack. And Although that line is not uncomfortable to me, we definitely have to learn some theory. So in this lesson, you're going to learn how we find that theory. So what is it that I have to study if I want to learn a new opening? Like let's say tomorrow you want to play the Sicilian defense. Well, after this lesson, you're going to know how to prepare the Sicilian defense, how to pick the lines that you want to use or the French or any other opening. So you're going to learn how to find that theory. You're going to learn how to store it for you to have it there and access it later to memorize it or simply to brush up on it before you go into a tournament. So I'm going to give you guys a few resources. Some of them are free. There's one that is not free, or it might be, but in many cases it is not. And then you have options for you to create your opening repertoire. So let's get started. As you can see here, I'm on leechess.org. And if you're on leechess, and by the way, guys, this is completely free. You just create a free account. If you go here to learn and then study, you're going to see they have a lot of studies public and you could access them anytime. Or you could go to my studies and here's where you have your studies. Like here I have one uh, about the Austrian. So uh, how to play the perk against the Austrian. I have one about the Nimso Indian. But if I wanted to create a brand new one, and this is what you're going to be doing, you could click on a uh, new study and then you just name it anything you like. So I could type in Sicilian defense and that's it so play with this the most important part i think is this one visibility because if you leave it public that means that anyone can access it so if you don't want that you could put uh, unlisted or invite only which is very nice because you could share it with your students your coaches your friends and everything else just play around with it and then when you hit start then you could date the chapters i'm gonna just create one so from here Anything that you reproduce on the board, guys, is going to be here and it's going to remain recorded. So let's say I'm preparing my repertoire with a perk. So let me actually flip the board. Okay, here we go. And d4, knight f6, knight c3, g6. And then here I know they could do the classical, knight f3. So you see it here. They could also do the 150 attack. So as you can see, they're going to put number four, knight f3 f3 or they could also do the austrian attack right so these are my variations now when i'm reviewing this you're gonna see here it's telling me these are the variations that i put that i definitely have to have something against so if i go back to leeches and i go to study i go to my studies you see i have sicilian defense now included and when i open it it's going to have everything that i have so now that i know i have to learn how to play against the classical the 150, the Austrian, I'm just going to continue to include more information for me to have it and I could then memorize it. But more than that, the way that we use it is before you go into a tournament, you're supposed guys to, of course, sharpen your tactics, but you're also supposed to review your openings. Make sure that you remember the theory. So you could go here and just, let me actually flip this again. And you could be like, okay, let me go to the beginning. D4, I see three, G6, and then you know that you have to learn to review knight f3, you have to review f3, and you have to review f4. And of course, there are other systems, that, but this is just an example. So at this point, guys, at this point in the lesson, you know how to store your openings, your, your theory, your repertoire. Back in my days, what I used to do, I, had, I didn't have access to a computer or the internet, so I just had a notebook, and I had to write this down uh, by hand. So I just write it down on my notebook, the variations below, and I'll be copying it into it, and that will be my, my repertoire. Now, you know how to do this, you know how to store it. Let me show you where you could find the theory. So there are a few ways. The first one is gonna be right here on Leeches. Like if I go the way back, you could click on this option, and it's going to show you the encyclopedia, guys. So if I wanted to play the Sicilian, I could click here, and the encyclopedia is telling me these are the top variations. It's gonna give you stats, and my recommendation is to not pay too much attention to the stats. Look, this is stats of 
395,000 games. So many of these games were lost, won, or drawn in the middle game or the end game, not the opening. So you definitely want to look at the top moves because these are the most popular ones. So here, if I want to play the Sicilian, I know I have to have a good line against knight of 3, which is the open Sicilian. I have to have a good line against the closed Sicilian and even c3, which is the alapin. So now from here, you could look into the, the reply. So what I used to do, I remember myself doing this and I'll just look at the top moves. But at some point, I really liked guys to look at the sub variations. Like you see here how they recommend knight c6, e6, d6. So I'll be like, huh, what if I did something like g6 right here? Maybe it's not that popular, but if I find something that I like, I feel comfortable with. I remember that I really enjoyed playing these sub variations because many people didn't know them. So it doesn't have to be specifically here, but you get the point. So this is one way for you guys to find the theory. The other one is this website that, to be honest with you, I don't know how good it is, but feel free to give it a try. And basically it's uh, 365chess.com and it's the same thing, Open Explorer. And here you go, you have the moves. So you could do D4. Let's say you want to learn how to play against the Grunfeld. So I know the Grunfeld is going to be after knight c3 if the black pieces do d5. So I know that I could pick c takes d5, knight f3, bishop f4, bishop g5. So you're supposed to look into each one of them and see the one that you like the most. Maybe you don't want to play the main line. Maybe you want to play this bishop g5. Well, they're telling you that after bishop g5, you have to know what to do if they do these moves. Now, some of them, you don't really have to worry too much about them. But definitely the top ones, you have to know what to do against it. So you have this website and the other one, guys, if you use chess.com, here you could go to learn openings and they have the same thing. So if I click on E4, then you can see all of the different variations and they have the stats. So if you click on, let's say the French, then they're going to give you, okay, you could do D4, then D5. And you could choose knight c3, knight d2, e5. You just pick what you like the most. And of course, look, there are games with the different variations and so forth. So this is basically how you do it, guys. The last resource, the one that might not be free, is a book. Nowadays, many people, what they do, and this is, in my opinion, the easiest way, they just buy a book on a specific opening. Like, if you go to the description of this video, you're going to see a link to my book recommendations. One of those books is about the perk defense. So in here, you're going to have not only the theory, but you're also going to have comments for every move, lots of games with a lot of comments. So the author is not only giving you move, 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 moves, they're, giving you, they're explaining to you why they do the moves and they're showing you games where other people uh, used it. And those games are not just like this. Those games also have comments and explanations and so on. The downside is that it's not free, but just know it's another option that you have out there. And again, guys, the only reason why I'm doing this is because it is really important. We all do it. And next lesson, when we talk about the Austrian attack, you're going to have to memorize a little bit. So now you know how to store that theory that we're going to learn. And you're going to have those lines for you forever to refer to and, and use it in your games. So I hope you found this useful. Like always, I'm pretty sure you have questions. If you have any, feel free to leave me a comment and I'll be more than happy to reply to you guys.